Hi, and welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV now. Listen, this, I don't know if you guys have heard about this incredible story with Matthew Flamini. Now, we all know Matthew Flamini as that midfield enforcer, hardcore player. Well, it turns out that Matthew Flamini ain't just a footballer. This guy is an absolute genius. He's put together with a friend of his, this biochemicals company, that has come up with this um, formula called Luvenic Acid. Now, this Luvenic Acid, we're being told, is going to be able to replace oil. Replace oil in all of its forms. Now, Flamini has kept this quiet for eight years. Uh, his partner in the business, they met when he was playing football in Italy in 2008 and they came up with this little solution and they've been developing it at various laboratories and etc etc and now they've come out of it they've revealed it to the world that they've come up with this LA acid that can replace oil that means you'll be able to drive your car with it you'll be able to anything the oil does at the moment this acid will be able to do and it's gonna make Matthew Flamini, a very, very rich man when he finishes playing football. It's estimated that he'll make himself £20 billion. Yes, £20 billion. That's, that's richer than Abramovich. Way, way richer than Abramovich. That's way, way richer than Usmanov. He's going to have all this money to burn. So I thought I'd put together five things that Matthew Flamini could do with his money. I've got it all down here, right? Five things that Matthew Flamini can do with that 20 billion pounds. Here is number one. Number one, he can buy Arsenal Football Club. Easily, as a matter of fact. But not only would he be able to buy Arsenal Football Club, he'd be able to get us some top players as well. He could buy us Neymar. He could buy us Messi. He could get us Lewandowski up front. Money, no object. He'd know what we need as an ex-footballer. So that is one of the things that he'd be able to spend his money on. Number two, do you know what he'd be able to do with his 20 billion pounds? He could buy Tottenham Hotspur. We all know he hates Spurs. Well, he could buy Spurs and then immediately shut it down, meaning that there's no more Tottenham Hotspurs in North London. How great would that be? That's another thing that he could do with his money. The third thing that Matthew Flamini could do with his money is buy a season ticket for all Arsenal fans, every single one that goes to the Emirates for the next 20 years. All right, so free season tickets on the house, courtesy of Matthew Flamini, the billion dollar mogul. Number four, now listen, we know that he's, you know, in the laboratory, he's good at developing all these formulas and that. So I think number four, he could recruit all the top doctors across the world. I mean, he could get Eva Canario to lead this, but get all the top doctors, all the top surgeons, all the experts when it comes to health and fitness, get them into Arsenal as part of their medical team to ensure that we don't get any more injuries. That is the least he could do with that 20 billion pounds. And last but not least, this is something that Matthew Flamini could do for all of Arsenal Fan TV subscribers that love Flamini, particularly after he scored that great goal earlier on in the season in the League Cup, that fantastic volley at North London, in the North London derby, and he knows that we all love him. Well, this is what he could do for all Arsenal Fan TV subscribers. He could give all of them a one-off payment of £108,695.65. That's to all our 184,000 subscribers. Matthew Flamini could do that with his £20 billion. <laughs> it's a bit of a laugh. I've got to say, listen, well done to Matthew Flamini, proving that, you know, there's always this thing that footballers ain't got no sense. Well, listen, this is a very, very smart guy. Good luck to Matthew Flamini. And we're talking about what the players that we think, top five players so far this season for Arsenal. Top five. We're going to start with number five. 